Well, welcome to the channel, everybody. Welcome, Christopher. Daniel, it's been a while, isn't it? It has been a while. It's a break pass series. The last time we played together was at Nuki. Yeah. In the break pass series. Yeah. Of which, great looking part. I, lo I love this. It's probably my favourite hole on the course. I think. Yeah. It's great looking, especially with they've redone the bunkers. Yeah, the one. Oh God, here we go. It was howling. <laughs> it wasn't just howling. The seagulls were walking. That's how windy it was. <laughs> Well, you managed to get it, I think. I th if I remember rightly, I think you were, were you one over or level? Something like Something that. Something like yeah. that, which Almost. wasn't bad on that particular day. I would yeah. say that on that day, you were pretty much on the par. Yeah, it was all right. It was good. Tavistock Golf Club today. What's the lowest you've had round here? Oh, uh, I think I, I must have had mid 60s, 65, 64, 65, I think. Yeah. I had a 65 in a junior open. Round here? Yeah. I hope you won that. And before anyone comments, no, it wasn't hi hickory shafts. <laughs> <laughs> with the Vardenator. Yeah. With the Vardenator, we're <laughs> high-fiving each other. We like Maverick and Goose. Uh, three wood in hand. Uh, I've got a three wood. Normally, if it's a, if it's not the middle of the night, it might pull driving, because you can get it close here, can't you? Yeah. I think if you sort of get one turning, um, I think you can get it close, but uh, the body's not quite woken up yet. 317 middle, 300 to the front, so it's... Uh... I'm going to hit this and hopefully leave myself a nice sort of 75 yarder. Perfect. Like that, hopefully. Any good? Yeah, it should be good. Happy? Yeah. I'm always happy. I'm like one of those fat, happy ones. <laughs> <laughs> I get your opinion on this, but I go biggest club I can get hold of first. Do you go face-wise? Face-wise. Always had that mindset. Have you? Always. Biggest face, first tee. Just down the left a little. As long as it carries Good the mound, chase, it's though. fine. Yeah, it's yeah, out of bounds left, but I think we should be past all of that today. So I just want to take this opportunity to thank ShotScope. I have the Pro LX. I also have the X5 watch. We're going to be using the ShotScope numbers and stats for this particular video, as we have done in all of the uh, Brake Pass series videos. If you want to check out a little bit more about ShotScope, down the link below. Uh, Good drive well, up the right hand side, just falling into the well, it's kind of like semi rough, well, but it's, it's not too it's bad, a, is it? To be it's fair, it's all right, this isn't yeah, it? Yeah, not too bad. So, I got 92 pin, but the pin is at the back, yeah, and the back of this green it does sort of drop off, okay. I don't really want to go long, so it's a funny little shot. You can either sort of try and bump something in, uh, like a sort of wedge or a nine iron and bump it and get it running out, but I'm gonna hit a my lob wedge goes 90, I got 92, but a bit downhill, so I'm, I'm gonna. Try and pitch this about 80 and just try and keep it short of the pin. Yeah, anything long of that pin, yeah. you're so running off the back. We you? can try and make about an 80 yard swing, that would be lovely. Nice. Oh. Stick, oh. stick, 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 stick. Down, stick, down, stick. Down. Ah, yeah, that might have just trickled off. Do you know I don't know my own strength? No. <laughs> That's our Weetabix this morning. How far Six, you got, bud? 60 yards. So 60. I need, like, I have a. Uh, after seeing yours, I only want to land it like 50 yards, don't I? And then it's going to hopefully... You've just got to get it just running. Skip, skip forward. Down there a fraction. It's got quite a nice lie. Coming out of a bit of rough, which is actually going to help him a fraction to get this ball to just release up yeah. the green, or down the green in this case. It's come out a little warm. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, it grabbed the fraction sit, and sit, it's sit. almost... It's done a bit of yours. A carbon though. copy of mine. You, I can see yours though, so it's, yeah, I can you know, it's just about see the top of yours as well. Snuck off. So Dan, as you can see, has just rode off the back of the green. He's going all the way uphill to this flag. It's not Tell a bad what, chance, a proper, to be fair. Proper runoff, isn't it, off the back here? Get it well, wrong. it's not easy, is it? Travel. Go, travel. go, 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 go. Travel, it's travel, travel. Effort, Daniel. Look at it. Nice solid par to start. Lovely, jubbly. It's just straighter than mine, up the hill. Just nestled a little bit. You got it just a fraction out your left. Just off the left. Quite slow by the look of yours. Uh, very slow. Go on. See all the water yeah, come off yeah, the yeah, ball. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a, a bit of a wake on the back of that. <laughs> <laughs> could have done. Could have done with getting out my uh, four and a half mil suit. <laughs> That's what happens on the moor, though, isn't it? That is exactly what happens on the moor. Get a little bit of moisture up on the moor. I mean, you can see the fog behind Gilly there, but I had to drive through that. I've got some, um, I had a couple of funny moments this morning with a horse and some sheep. <laughs> steady. Yeah. Nice and steady. Not bad, mate, was it? Take a couple of pars and move on. Shot scope telling me 407 yards, second hole. 
439 on the on the that stone. Yeah, and that's that'll be because that's a direct route. Yeah. Um, to so the we'll hole, so it's kind of it, on that number. Gilly's talking about that. It wraps around here, big dog. So you're looking, looking at right a forty-yard dog leg. Then that's quite a lot, isn't it? Huge, isn't it? Never really realised. I've been playing here for thirty something years. So yeah, dog leg right to left. We've just got to hit it down the right, really. Left, they've got a kind of internal out of bounds, but there's a couple of bushes, so you can normally see the big pylon, can't you? The Prince Town. Yeah. Not today. But I think it's there. <laughs> I I'm think it's that bush on top. Been good. It's going to burn through. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'd say that's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, that should be okay. Good strike. Yeah, that's good. So my last brake par, Christopher. Yep. Was a 78 around Churston. A 78 around Churston? Yep. I wasn't expecting 78s around Churston, I must admit. I played Churston for years. Handle okay, bit too just a wee bit down the right. It's fine, it's just it's okay. the longer route is, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like most dog legs. The more you can feel you can take a little bit off it, the, the shorter the hole gets, yeah. isn't it? It's a lovely drive, to be fair. It's, it's just a bit right. to the right. If we pan down to the it's green, it's literally 40 yards. It's a long, long way course. away. Everything slopes heavily right to left. It's one of these greens around here. Again, they always slope away from you around here, don't they? Yeah. What you got to the front is probably the well, number. 185 is to the front. Yeah, it's 203 middle or 203 flag, 201 yeah. middle, so it's just past middle. So I'd be going... Um, I'd be going pitching it 175, 180. Yeah, so slightly that, down that, the draft. <coughs> that's my. I'm going to go six iron then. Okay. Somewhere between see. the right edge of the pin and uh, right edge of the green and the pin. Yeah, I've got it. I'm literally looking at the right edge of the of the green. So Perfect. Kick in off there. Just trapped it a bit. It's trying Turn to come back up. round. Might get a nudge. Oh, that's He's trying. Try. He's on the keep edge chasing, of the chasing. Keep chasing. Right edge keep of the pin, uh, green. I think it's just right edge, you know, again. I think you've managed to sneak that one on, you little sausage. You know when you expect the club to just dig into the mound? Yeah. It just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, my body had to stop pretty quickly there. Sounds a bit like, my, uh, sounds a bit like my life, Dan. I, uh, I expect far too much. At 18, I could have dealt with that, not at 41. <laughs> the perfect drive, so oh. say. 159, well, we're going on that front number, really, but you can get a bit more spin. So, 143, shot scope telling yeah. me. So 140, so 140 kind of front and then 155 pin. I got nine iron. It feels like quite a lot of club because it is down breeze and a bit downhill, a little wet, so you get a bit of moisture between club and ball. Sometimes can make it jump a little bit on you, but yeah, I think just a nice solid nine. Yeah, Even if it goes a little bit long, at least you're putting back well, up the I'd green. Like, I'd aren't, like aren't I think you? you get a bit of grab once it got a second bounce. Oh, don't pull it. Oh no, grab a piece. Grab a piece. Sit down there, hold the uphill putt there, Gilly. Yeah, sit down. Sit. Just working on, a, working on a little movement at the minute and it seems to be working, but every now and again, let's get that pull. Stop it. So Dan's has actually creeped. Crept? Creeped. Crept. 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 No, that's the thing you get in France, isn't it? A crep. Crepe. In the morning. A crepe, yeah. yeah. Look at this. Look Right, at let's it. talk about this. Let's get away from crepes. Let's talk about this Look little bad boy. That. So this putter was silver. I've had it fully... Um, blackened out, it's white sight it's line, Newport 2, uh, DHD colours, gold, uh, gold and then the purple, uh, Cameron in gold, and then the little logo okay. just on the front there. Okay. And then just a little bit of colouring on the bottom as well. So Loving that. Okay, Loving that. Christopher. So Dan's putt is quite heavily downhill. It's about 30, 35 feet. I got it a little out the left. Should be just off your left. Like we said, the green here slopes from front to back like most of them do just one of those that you just want to kind of nestle a bit of moisture on the green so um they're not going to get away from you too much at the minute might have to, is that got a hurry or is that okay Hit some moisture. Good pace. that's lovely just stayed was, out there a bit mate yeah, yeah it did i didn't move hardly at all really didn't, did it all right chris just picking up his pitch mark ball there you go, look, just held up. There's a little little upslope that it sat itself on, but another foot left, or even six inches left. Go down there quite down easily. dropping off that path, aren't you? Uh, so it's just off the right, not a lot. I saw yours, so I'm going to learn from yours a little, where I don't think it's going to turn as much as you, as you maybe initially think it does. Go. Go on, then. Ah. God, a just a bit double breaker slow, in there. Slow, isn't they? 
Just a bit, yeah, a little slow, but still should dry out as, I, the, as the morning goes on. Always think this is a tough hole. Yeah, yeah, take your par, run away. Yeah, always think it's a quite, a, you know, even when the greens are soft as they are, the ball can get away from you, can't yeah. it? You know, I'm going to leave that in because of the size of the. Uh... Do you know what? I don't. I'm a. I'm a big outie. I'm oh, a yeah. big fan of outie, but actually, the flags they've got around here, the ones with the little small bottoms on them, I kind of don't mind leaving the leaving the flag in when it's like that. So down for par. Solid. Yep. Solid Taking socks. It. Third hole then, 391 yards. Small dog leg round from right to left. It's saying uh, 375 as a direct route, mm. so there's a small dog leg there. I might be showing my age here, but can you remember when the third was a par three? Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, the uh, green is green, kind of Just still see the there, outline yeah. of the green there. But I actually think this is a better hole. Because this was a par three and then a sort of shortish par four. You could kind of almost drive, couldn't you? I can't remember the par four. So driver just down the right side, there is a trap down the left, so just want to just veer away from that one a fraction. Right after the fairway would be lovely. Uh, not there. Keep right then. Keep right at that That's bush. That's fine. He's so yeah. far right, it's not a problem. <laughs> That's not, it's not it's fine. I have got my mobile and email on Callaway this. Callaway so ones as well, in. look. Paradigm ones. Well, I'm not paying for anything, am I? I'm not. No. You know, I've been spending too much time with your brother. He definitely squeaks when he walks. So Dan as well, we drive up. I do like this hole. Yeah, it suits up nice for your eye, actually, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> He's ripped it just down the left side. If that carries the Get trap. something. If that carries the trap, that's perfect. See the end of it? That could be bushy, you know. I think it's hit the upslope of that thing and then, like, killed it. It's either just gone over the bush or it's in the that gorse bush. Sounded lovely. Could be another bush ball for me. <laughs> Up in amongst the little wispy trees. Yeah, not ideal. 170 you've got in there, the uh, yeah, 169 middle. Don't feel that far though. I know it's cold and, well not that cold is it? But I'm gonna eight. I think you've got a little bit of a jumpy lie. Just so. everything, everything feels like an eight iron to the club. I think seven just looks like if it goes, I can go long. It's the few greens that sit towards Coin you here, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. So okay. Is this, is this a relatively new green then? No, so this is the old Part fourth four green. green. Okay. So the T used to be just on the bottom there. Yeah. It used to hit it up and yeah. So I really like this green. Sounded knuckly. Come on up you go. Gilly, I think you've read sit, that perfectly. Sit, 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 sit. I'll take that uphill putt from there, Daniel. You did everything you kind of said it would do, oh, really. No, I don't know what's going wrong. Bit. Something's wrong. 149 to the front, 160, middle 170 back. It's got a fairly nice lie. It's very fortunate. Isn't that's it? a little, he's very lucky. He managed to miss these that bushes bush. and humps and and hollows, but he's got he's got a fairly decent lie. What are you thinking, mate? 138, you said 138 middle. 140, probably playing 144. Yeah, you don't really want to be pitching it much past middle. No. I saw mine take a bit of a lively first it hop. It did, and mine's not dissimilar. I think when you get a little bit of this sort of damp, dewy weather or gr uh, grass, you can start to get those flyers, and I think well, it's tough to get that grip on the that. ball, isn't it? So sorry, it's really tough to get that grip on the ball from yeah. these kind of lies. I always feel that it always almost sort of like skids off the face. Yeah, you're right. Um, so I'm going to go wedge. It's okay. probably a nine-iron club for me, but I'm going to go wedge. And just see, uh, just turn it on the breeze. Oh, that's come out soft as a button, and yeah, it? I've opened the face right up. And, uh, Did you? I just coming in a bit open facey at the moment. That's that's gone like a sandwich. Yeah, that's yeah. Good 60 degree wedge up, just nestled up short. Uh, Give yourself a good chip and a putt stroke, from there. Stroke 12, get a shot here. So you may just lay it up. <laughs> Don't anything daft. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him up there like a Thompson good there. What are you looking just at? Chip and chasing. He didn't quite whiff it, but it wasn't far off it. So he's got to come up the green. As you see, there's a little ridge going up to the pin, and then about maybe eight, ten feet short, it just starts to go right to left and slightly down the slope. So little 56. I've got a little 56. Push sort of it about. Back footish, going to just bump it forward. First bounce should be skiddy because it's still a bit damp. Yeah. Get it running towards the hole. Played it lovely. Sit down. That's good. Sit, 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 sit. Really good. That slope there. You said to hit it so high. Well, you can never bring yourself to hit it that high, can you, on here? No. 
That's pretty good shot though, mate. Such a big slope there, isn't it? Yeah. Got a long way that eight iron. Yeah, I don't. I pitched. I got a pitch mark at the front, and then yeah, it might be mine. I don't know if that was yours or not. There's been a few people out here today. Good job you didn't hit that seven. <laughs> yeah, I think I could have been in Prince Town. <laughs> a little bit up. Oh well, I want to say uphill, but it's it uphill, looks... but it's a bit of a sidewinder, I fancy. Yeah. Especially watching your chip, it really doesn't want to stay high. Full, 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 full. Ah. That's a great part though, look at it come round. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it went, almost come it's back to backwards. me. Okay, nice and steady start. Oh, for dear. the early morning tea time. Yeah, well done. Thank you. It was coming almost, almost straight back up the hill. Yeah, I don't see a lot in that gilly, you know. Where are you seeing it, if anything? Left half. Okay. No, see. I'm seeing it now down here. Now that I'm down here, I'm seeing it should come this way. I've got that right half. <laughs> yeah. Right half, but firm, because it's going to be, it's going to be slow, isn't it? So it looks yeah. like the greens have been top dressed a little bit recently. Uh, if I'm a bit confused, are. I tend to go a little bit firmer and straighter. Yeah, I, it's certainly not outside the hole. It's definitely not outside the hole. Starts at left half, goes in. Did it fall that way? It did. Then? Started left half. <sighs> Lovely. Lovely four, Daniel. What a four that was, eh? Uh, I think you might... Stress free. Scrappy. Say. Fourth hole then, 157 yards. We've zapped it. Good par three, this. It's a proper, proper good path path three. three. I, like, I like this hole. Real bail out down to the right, isn't there? But again, just just the thing dangerous. about this green doesn't matter if you don't matter where you bail out. There's not a good miss because it's quite a tricky chip, it's quite a slopey green from yeah. um, back left to front right. So 156. I've got seven on. I reckon there's about half a club of wind up there. So I'm going to hit a nice seven, I think. Yeah, hold there. Just hold a little. Ah, he's pin eye. Yeah, that's perfect. Really. He's pin eye. He's okay. Good shot, that. <laughs> Cheers, matey. Yeah. So uh, there's a tiny bit of puff up there, but it's it ain't cold, but it's not warm. That sounds a bit daft, doesn't it? Yeah. Saying that, though, most things come out of my mouth sound <laughs> like that. I get what you mean, though. Yeah. Well, I thought I'd get it in before someone else did. <laughs> Comment below. I like How many stupid comments it. have you heard me to? I Sorry. Want to start it at your ball. Did you hit it well? I did it okay. Hit it okay. I might just hit one more with that bit of breeze. I think so. Only because I'm I'm trying to hold the face off a little bit more at the moment and I think it's dropping a bit short. Okay. So I'm going to start it kind of on your ball and hopefully let it drift to the right. Okay, Daniel's going to hit a little six then. Starts out my ball. No, started it's going it fairly straight. Edge. Not really moving. Just a, Did that get up just, or is that yeah, just from the front? Yeah, it's pin high to be fair. Oh, well done. There's my little If it had thing. drifted a bit, I think I'd have probably taken a few yards off yeah. of it. Yeah. It wasn't... I just think a slight miss hit or slightly f sort of flary with a seven iron and it's not getting here. Yeah. Well, I think I'm always a big believer. Any time on a par three you hit the green, you've done a good job. Yeah. Agreed. Doesn't matter the length, doesn't matter the conditions. I think if you can if you can hit a par three green, this game turns out to be a tiny bit easier. Okay, I've got this. Not it's a pretty flat green to be honest, Gilly. I got it a little bit out of the right. Okay, mate. It's a nice roll. Got to go, is it? Maybe a touch. Yeah, it does. Oh, got to go a lot. Oh dear. It's right on line as well. Yeah. I think it was coming in. Yeah, it's left himself <coughs> a little testy four footer there. The problem is you get you just get this time of the morning you get picks up everything. Yeah. You get slower and slower and slower. The trouble is though, then all of a sudden you'll stand there and you'll clatter one and you'll like <laughs> catch one straight out of the meat and he, and you go five foot by. And he, yeah. How's so. Nuki at the moment? Good, good. good we shape? just had um, I just had the pisky weekend. Okay. Which is a, a pisky for you that don't know is a, is a Cornish pixie. Uh, they were put on the the uh, the gates of the Tamar uh, to get all you Emmets out, but obviously that was a few years ago now. So. Crikey, how long ago was that? Oh, I, I mate, I don't know. It's Cornish, you know. I've, I, you haven't done that. You've done your to research. To be fair, not that much. They start talking. I switch off. I actually got that swinging a little bit, you know. I got that a couple of balls. I think that might just want to wander quite a bit. I like the pace. When I said balls, I didn't mean beach balls. I no. meant golf balls. I like the pace, though. Oh. It's had a chance of going in. Let me uh, take your time. Let me finish that one off. Okay. Tidy. Right. Solid start. Oh, yeah. 
So it was around. definitely yeah. wanting to move in that way as it was coming down the hill. And from this angle, it almost looks like it wants to go the other way. Your left to right, our right to left, isn't it? Again, I think it's similar to the foot, uh, that last hole. I think that is off the left a little, Daniel. Oh, could it go? Just started that, just right half-ish. Tap it in. But you, um, yeah. you did say it wanted to wiggle that way, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, just a little. Unlucky, mate. Okay. It was well, always coming. It wouldn't. It wouldn't take long. <laughs> it took what five holes? Well, four holes. Not bad then, was it? <laughs> they normally come a lot earlier than that. Fifth yeah. hole then, par five. We've oh, got oh, par five, Daniel. <coughs> chance for you to go under. Par, yeah. Chance for me to get one back. You get that shot back. Um, five, five, five. Ah, the old I five, never, five, five. The old five, five, five. I'm never sure where to hit it here because that bush is right on the line, isn't it? If you you see it in a minute, but I think you've just got to just get it down there, maybe right after the bush. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I, I like that. Okay. Of the fairway. Come on. Then. Oh, Gilly! Yeah, but that's absolutely fine. Oh, I know, but it's not, is it? So stuck underneath it. Ah, rubbish. They've put that bunker in down the right-hand side, haven't they? Which yeah. is a kind of a newish addition. Wow. It does um, It does tighten the tee shot up a little bit. Oh, I've joined you. Yeah, he's come out to the right as well. God. Oh, it's so hard at the moment. It'll be fine though, mate. I'm it's just, not what we want, but it's okay. Isn't it amazing? Completely fearing. So I'm fearing the left. Really? Like, literally, that's the way I'm, I'm... So I'm here, I'm just... I'm trying to hold the face all the time because as soon as I get that going on, it just snaps left. Well, there's certainly no hint of it going left at the minute, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. I just, it's a feel more than an actual... Yeah, I know what you mean. ...reaction, you know? Yeah. So something I wanted to ask you, and something maybe it could... Um, uh, can help maybe the audience when they're playing and things like that, especially... Early on in a round, I mean, we, we teed off early. Yeah. Um, kind of just trying to, it's still a bit cold. It's still not running. So it's a bit playing a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, how do you kind of settle into the round? Do you kind of just stick to a game plan and exactly the same as what you would be playing on the first four holes to the last four holes? Or are you like, how does it kind of work for you? What's going through your mind? Just, it sounds like a really old cliche, but really just trying to take one shot at a time. Um, obviously, the conditions are always going to dictate what you can and can't do with the golf ball, and then you've then got to manage your expectations, which is which is something that lots of guys uh, don't do. But for me, it's much more have a look at the conditions, have a look where you want to take it. You know, you want to hit the ball, and let's say yeah. like this morning, it's a bit cold, it's a bit damp. Yeah. Well, the ball's not going to travel as far, so. Yeah. You need to then judge what club is going to sort of work work for you for yeah, that one. Okay. Where, um, yeah, I don't think there's an exact in science, but for me, it's just taking each shot at a time and judging on its own merit. Yeah, we did have the moors to our right, and uh, <laughs> we managed to find them. <laughs> Two, eight, three shot scope telling me. Yeah, so I do this. This this green is a little funky, so I do want to get it as close as I can. But if you ever look at the lie, all the grass is growing against me. So, yeah. if I had a proper medal scorecard in my hand or playing for money. I probably wouldn't hit three wood because it's going to get stuck a little bit. But because there's nothing really in front of me and the likelihood from this lies that it's going to squirt, I can aim it sort of left traps and just let it drift and get it hopefully within 50, 60 yards of the green. That's Wind's off the left, ball's kind of nestled, topography goes left to right. Yeah. So the chances are I'm going to have to hit it down, down the left side. And you can just knuckle it. <laughs> well, that's okay. That's that's good there. Yeah, yeah. that just that came out a lot better than I thought it was gonna. Did it? Yeah. yeah came out nice. nice. So down with the same yardage, but he's actually got a lovely line. See the see the little line where the ball's gone through the dew there, but lovely little sort of almost a bit of a jumpy lie. Yeah, I like Nestled that. Nestled up way. a little bit, it's got a little bit of moisture. 262 to the front. Question is, can I it's just whether it gets a good enough chase on it, isn't it? Well I think you've just got to be going just middle of the green. All right, sit Just down. Come a bit out of the neck, should be fine. Sit down. Not really jumped on you. Yeah, it's fine. Kind of come out quite soft, actually, didn't it? Good job it landed soft, because there's that bush that was lingering in the background. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine there, mate. It's quite a straightforward little pitch from there. Yeah, Chris right. got himself to 70 yards to the middle, 53 front. 65 pin. It's quite a nice little number, really. Oh, it's green in, slopes. I would say you're in the perfect spot, yeah? Green slope's a bit left to right, so... Half a dozen feet to the left, pitching it 20 feet short, and 
hopefully let's see if we can get one snuggled up in there daniel shall we okay oh my god gilly just pulled it a oh that's the shot well it's your killer at the moment is yeah, it yeah <sighs> yeah just yeah <laughs> just yeah just yeah i pre prefer this angle if you have a little look he's actually going more up the slope i was coming a bit more across it he's coming a bit more up it and he's got what have you got mate 50 yeah i've got 48 is 65 but you it's, it's 60 yards basically okay so um, quite a nice yardage long, aren't you so you just want to pitch it sort of 20 feet on and just let it just skip up there it's a little clean it's just hit the upslope it's spun a little but certainly not our finest efforts oh christopher my short game is still haunting me wow no one said it was going to be easy no one said it would be this hard. <laughs> Down the hill to a pin which looks like it's on a upside contact lens, doesn't yeah. it? I honestly, when I first looked at this, I thought it was going from right to left. And then when I went down there, I saw an old trail yeah. that was going from left I've to right. I've got that so left to right. Yeah, fractionally out the left. Not, again, I don't see a lot in this one. So I think um, down the hill. Yeah. Still a bit dewy. Go. Oh, come go, on. Go. Oh, straight in the jaws. I feel like I battered that as well, you know. Mm, I think this goes all over the place. Yeah. I'm going to go left to right and then right to left at the end. Again, I think by the time it gets one of those that by the time, because they've obviously dressed the greens here, it's not, you can't really feel them too much, but I think by the time it gets to the hole, it's picked up so much um, sand, mm. straightens it up. Come on, keep tracking, keep tracking. Christopher. Ow. Gravity had to take over at some point. Ow. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a bit nasty, isn't it? It's another par, though. Oh, it's another steady yeah. par. Oh, just a steady eddy. Like what a good old means? Robin Reliant. <laughs> no, no. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Unstable in the dark, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Dan's got a... Got another little kind of nasty one. A little question mark. Is that what you're saying? It's down it's the hill. little question on it. Looking at what mine's done, it should be right half. Just right half, I'm seeing it, yeah. But there's not a lot in there. Good pace. Back of the hole. Jobs are good. Un. Well done, mate. Okay. Well done. Slightly untidy, unsavoury. Yeah. I always no. think, though, the first few holes around here, especially, like, I know it's a par five, but even... Even these first few, you get through the first five level, I think you're doing okay because there are chances. Settles in the you in, of the then, round. isn't it? Mm. Settles you into the round. Yeah, definitely. Six hole then, 365 yards over a little bit of water, then up towards the green. Yeah, We've it's like a little our... ravine in there, just yeah. short with some rubbish in there, some gorse and some stuff. But remember, back playing as a kid, always used to sort of leave it back a little bit. Um, but I think the shots to get it as close as you can. I really do. I well, think that pins especially the pins at the, at the back. back. So when it's at the front, slightly different, but pins at the back. But I think we just go straight out the pin. Well, that's perfect. Yeah, you got one turning over. Careful. Absolutely perfect there. Slightly out the toe, but spot on. I want to see a nice, nice soft draw here, right edge of the green. Yeah. And turn it back. Yeah. I got it. Ravine's out of play, so. Just Keep hang going out. right then. As long as it stays on that line, it should be okay. Didn't see it down, did you? Fine there. Yeah, it'll be absolutely fine. It's slightly it's not, at the bottom. It's just not drawing, is it? No, it's just. That went absolutely dead straight on me. Did you catch it okay? Yeah, nutted it. So I, young Daniel I think. has found one of the very few trees on this golf course. I uh, thought, it was, I thought it was here. It must yeah. have kicked a little bit there. It's quite hefty. Dan's ball. If we can take you back underneath here a second. Be careful with these little, uh, sat right here. And the pin is just right on this little line here. So we're going to try and see if we can make a back. Get out of it. We've got a pin make a too. Back. He can make a back, so he's going to weigh a little bit right. So I've got, I got 105 yards, I've got a 52 degree wedge. Yeah. I'm going to get flat on it. Let's try and really get this, got this, this, this head working around the body. Show you ahead of me. It's should just come out a little lower and with a little bit of draw. 
Oh, that is an absolute golf shot and half. Oh my yeah, word. Right, right. Come on down. It'll come, come on, on down. On. What a shot. get the old bread and butter what on it. What a shot, it's pin eye. <laughs> oh. Adventurous Dan. So 90 yards, a little bit down in it. A little yeah. bit down, pins all at the back, so double green. Yeah, you kind of, but the best spot here is just short right of that flag. Yeah, that's where I'm kind of looking, really. Gives you a last little putt. Yeah, try and, um, try and give ourselves a better birdie chance than we had on the last from 60 yards, eh? Go on, just a nice sort of foolish lob wedge. All right. Oh, there it is, right, just short right of that flag. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Boom, here we go. Now we, now we started there. the party, haven't we? Now we started. Daniel is it, as we said, an absolute world. He's just missed the green on the left here. He's got a fairly flat chip, actually. It's not yeah, too bad. Yeah, I kind of want to land it about here. Yeah. And then let it, it should just kick a bit right at the beginning and then flatten out. Yeah, I think that's perfect. I think that's perfect. A little 56, did you say? A little 56. Yeah, so it's going to land probably forward. three, four feet on the green and skip on into the hole. Get that foot out of the way. Just caught it a bit duffy, but he's going to get away with it. That was Just a proper a little duffy. Three and a half feet, four feet. Duff and run that one for you, Christopher. Wasn't your finest strike, was he? But then again, that it was a bit of an awkward little stance, wasn't it? It was a bit of a downhill lie. Yeah. Left yourself an absolute perfect well, opportunity. The only way this ball is not going to go into the middle of the hole, Daniel, is if it's operator error. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's what absolutely it? straight gun barrel straight, straight up the hill. There's a bit of moisture on the greens, a bit of sand, so the ball's going to hold its line. So as long as I start this in the middle of the hole, it's going to go in. And there it is. There you go. Well done, you. Thank you. Long time well coming. Well done, you. Under par. Under par. Now, if we can just stop now, that, 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 that'd be great. This is the third time in three holes he's left himself a downhiller. Tiny bit of borrow. You've certainly not you made mean this... pressure? Bit of pressure. You've certainly not made part one very easy for yourself, my friend, have no, you? No, I haven't. So it's a it's a just inside left cut uh, left edge putt. I always feel like I'm like um a, like a duck on water. Duck on water. Like you can't see what's actually happening underneath. I think we're all like that secretly. The brain. Come okay. on, mate. Just inside left edge, nice pace, straight in the middle. Perfect. Yep. What a lovely roll that was. Thank you. Beautiful. Lovely roll with a lovely new putter.